How you doing guys? Welcome to another episode. Quick little episode for you. Uh, people has been asking me what kind of bulb size is on the glove box. And some people say the, it doesn't make sense to put LED in it. But at the same time I'm gonna make this little video so you guys know how to replace it because when your bulb goes out, obviously you need to replace it. It's not like we're using this all the time, but a lot of new cars don't have any light bulbs on the glove box. This one does, so why not? But this one is gonna cover how to replace it, or if you wanna go LED, which kinda like you don't need it that much. Some people say it doesn't make sense, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. When you replace your cabinet filter, pretty much is the same. You have two little tabs in here inside. Grab one of these tools to remove the covers. Talking about these little covers, there is two screws, one on each side. This cover right here, and this cover right here. Remove those two screws, and then we can go underneath. Those two screws on top too, remove them as well. On this side, you have this little fuse cover, remove it. You have two screws to remove, this one right here, and that one right there. It's been removed, it's been removed. Right here in the middle, you wanna have another screw hiding in there. Use the same tool. Right there is the screw. Get that one out too. Now they remove all those three bolts. Pull on the little cover. You don't have to remove all the way. I'm just gonna leave it there because I have too much cables down there. Now there is one screw right here in the middle. That one is gonna hold the glove box. So I remove that one too. It's right in the middle. Besides the one on the bottom that I show you, you have three more right here. One in here, one in here, and one in here. Once you remove all those bolts, you can get the glove box out. Once you remove it, don't pull it all the way because the connector is on this side. You have right here the connector. Press on the top so you can remove it. Okay. Now, we have to remove these two screws because this is where the light bulb is. Just for a little light bulb, you have to do all that, but that's the only way to replace it. And that's the bulb that I'm using. Uh, it's bright, but because it's not an angle, if you see it's going like this. So you have very little light going in to the glove box, but I think it's better than the stock one. So that's the bulb that you gotta use. So this bulb is DE 3175, 31 millimeter. You can put that one in there and uh, it's gonna be a little bit brighter, but the light color is gonna be different. You're going from the regular bulb to LED, it's gonna be whiter, it's gonna look a lot better because who doesn't like LEDs? Anyways, I'm gonna put the link on the description so you can get this type of bulb. Like I said, 31 millimeter DE. 3175. Put it back in place. 
replace your screws, put it back on, and replace all the screws that you've been removed. I always put my screws on different positions so I know where they came from because some of them they're flat, some of them they're rounded. So I just put them on different places so I know where they came from. That makes everything a little bit easier. I have these three screws on the other side because I know those goes right here. So I don't have problems when I put them back on. The one on the bottom. This is the two on top. Just finish. Three screws down there. And that's it on this installation. I hope you like this episode guys. Link is going to be in the description to replace the bulb. And like I said before, you're not going to see much of the light. What you can do too is make the hole a little bit bigger. You can cut it in here, but I just want to leave it like that. That's gonna give you just an idea on how to replace the bulb. If you have any questions guys, please comment down below. I'm gonna be happy to help. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. Peace.